you got any new projects here for 2014? Uh, well, we've, we've got into the Generation 2 dual tank. Uh, we brought this unit out about two and a half years ago um, in the first version. So since we've had about nine of those units out now, um, we've done some remedial redesign work on it. Um, improve the plumbing system and the operator controls. Originally they were split from the front and rear, now all the controls are at the front. Uh, made it 300mm shorter, which for a front mounted product is quite important that we can take that length out. The induction bowls at the sides have moved, moved back and moved in, making them hopefully more user friendly um, and more you know, ergonomic in their function. Um, and then the addition of road lighting as well, which was an important feature that we saw users were asking for on, on existing machines. Um, that they didn't have the, the road lighting on the front, so we've now incorporated that in the standard design. We've incorporated extra protection on the front, so we now have these additional bars around here and underneath, which should protect the unit against any impact damage from the side, which beforehand we felt it was quite exposed, so that's, that's actually that's done a nice job there. Um, the unit's also lighter, so we've taken a bit of weight out of it, and it's more balanced. Before we had the pumping units inside in here, the pump's now around the back, so it makes the unit more balanced, which hopefully on the front of the machine should allow it to be a little more stable. You can see over there that you've got the Varidome. Uh, it's a new product for yourself? Yes, yes uh, recent development yeah. in the last two years. Yes, yeah, so it's a new product for us. We developed it in this form in about the last two years. It's been ongoing for about sort of the last six or seven. Um, it's quite a different product to the marketplace. The concept of shielded spraying isn't new. Uh, it's an old, quite an old design of, of, of application of chemical. What we've done is developed it for the 21st century, if you like. Um, we can use the machine with um, RTK and GPS integration which gives great opportunities and great benefits in the way we can apply the chemical. It's available in working widths of 3 to 12 metres. 12 metres is new for this year. Originally we, we had it available in, in up to 9 metres. Um, we, we've we had inquiries ongoing and fresh for wider machines. We, we, we have an order now for a 12 metre machine for overseas in Canada which is you know, it's a good machine for us. It's a, it's a good export as well. Um, this machine is tied, we say, to that tank. Um, it works in conjunction with the twin spray system, so we have the one spray nozzle here and then the second one which is under the shield there. It allows the user to apply two chemicals at once, which is, which is pretty much unique for, for the product we're doing. Uh, when you look at conventional cropping, you can apply a non-selective herbicide through this shield here between the rows of crop and the conventional herbicide on top of the crop. Uh, that gives some great advantages in weed control, in places where perhaps you don't have the selective herbicides available, you have the ability to put a non-selector down to remove persistent weeds and then the overrow allows you to put conventional herbicides down but at a, you know, up to a 60% reduction which is a huge saving. This is our 100 litre tank system, it's the generation 2, we brought it out for 2014, built on bits and pieces we learned from the previous design, it's much stronger, um, it's got more features in it and more ability to have options and changes on it. It's a 100 litre mixed chemical tank on there uh, with a 15 litre flush tank to clean the sprayer and the system out after use and then on the far side there a 15 litre hand wash tank. Uh, we've gone for the 100 litre tank currently. Uh, for most applications it's sufficient chemical, you're only using maybe up to four nozzles and it's much lighter weight. So for a lot of applications where you're looking at reducing compaction and reducing ground disturbance, the 100 litre tank offers you sufficient spray quantity but without the weight and the implications of having a much larger tank and the inherent subsoil compaction and root zone disturbance that you receive from that. This setup you see here uses the underviner um, domes in